Hey there everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Today we're gonna paint our frog that I cut out the other day um, over the weekend. And I'm just getting my paints ready, making sure that I have a hole where I need to have it. Uh, also, Elizabeth is on from Ellie's Attic. So some people may be coming over there. Hey, Tommy Sue, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. You're the first one for me to see. So I've cut out my frog. Hey, Terry, how are you doing? Um, this is a, like a one by 12 and I cut it down a little bit. Hey, Miss Alice and Miss Martha, thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Hopefully everybody enjoys the frog today. Um, I cut out the back portion, which is the body of the frog. Then I cut out a face. How are y'all doing? Did you have a good Wednesday? At least half the weekend is coming. Hey, Miss Dreama. And I've cut out the little pieces for the hands and the feet. Hey, Miss Paula, how are you doing? When I did the first one, I cut out two of them so I would have, you know, one to paint for everybody. So hopefully, thank you, Miss Dreama, for painting the page. I appreciate that. You're doing great. Hope you're having a great day, too. I am. I'm having a good day. I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm kind of tired. So I hope tonight I sleep really well. Um, let's just hope so. Anyway. All right, so you're going to need some black and white, um, as we always do. Hey, Steven. There's my baby. That's my son <clears throat> on there. We're painting a frog today, Stephen. So you're gonna need black and white paint. We do use that the majority of the time, no matter what I'm painting. Uh, white and black, you can't have enough of, and also red sometimes, but this one does not have red. Um, we have different shades of green. And my favorite one for the frog is actually called Palm Leaf. Hey, Miss Pat, and it's Apple Barrel. And I've got to get some more because this is the last bit of it I have. Hey, Miss Peggy, thank you for coming on. You'll also want one. This one's called Lime Tree from Apple Barrel. Um, it's a lighter color, and we just want to put this on in between. Um, and then a darker color as well. Um, hey, Miss Jenny, thank you for coming on. All right, I've also got this foliage uh, by Craftsmart. This is from... Michaels and they do have really good paint. This Craft Smart is not that expensive and it is really good. So we could use it, but I do like the palm leaf for the frog. That's what the base coat is of the frog. Here is the frog right here. And I just painted all of this the palm leaf first. Hey Ray Lynn, thank you for coming on. So we're going to paint our frog. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the palm leaf. We're going to go ahead and do the feet and the hands first, just so they'll be dry when it's time for it to go on. It's easier to dry the big piece. So I'm going to take a little bit and put right here um, on the paper plate to do the hands and the feet. Really, I could put it on top of here. I guess that would be the better thing. So I'm just going to take my big brush. We always take the big brush. Thank you so much, Miss Martha. I think you turned out really cute. Um, so we're just going to do the sides because we're going to be gluing this on top of the body. I haven't seen my son on here in a long time, so I'm glad to see you, Stephen. And I know he works a whole lot. <laughs> works long hours so I uh, appreciate him coming on here to help me out <clears throat> I wish he lived closer hey Christy thank you for coming on all right we're cut we are um, painting our frog and right now I'm doing the little legs and the hands hey miss Robin we're just gonna get these so they'll be dry by the time I need them on top and then we'll paint the top of this. And this has some kind of, I don't know what I put on it, I can't remember, uh, but it's made it hard. So I think I'm gonna 
end up throwing this one away. I'm going to go ahead and get this other one out. Maybe it's better. So we're just going to paint the sides first. Let me just use this on top of here. <laughs> Are talking about storms. We had a cloudy day today. Yesterday we had some storms. Hope everybody's careful and watches out for everything. Because a lot of people like Texas was having some uh, storms. And I was worried about my kids. So at least I know he's okay since he's on here. Or he was on here. My youngest son's never come on here before. Hey, Vicky Fox, my friend. All right. Everybody always says hello to everybody. I really love it when y'all do that. Everybody's learned to everybody, haven't they? Y'all see each other on here. I appreciate you coming on my channel. So, we almost got all four of them done. Thank you for sending the stars, Miss Terry. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. I think I got all the sides done. So now we're going to do the top. I'm going to get that piece of paint off that's a big blob. Your rain is going to start at 9 tonight and rain all day tomorrow. See, we've already had ours for a couple of days, so I guess that's what's happening with y'all. It's coming in. And it's cold, too, y'all. That's the reason why I have a sweater on again. It's really cold. I got the heater on underneath because I'm cold. It's raining in Michigan too, Miss Robin. All right, so once you have your base coat, this looks like it needs a little bit of more paint right here, so I'm just gonna paint on it. All right, so we're just gonna get those out of the way. And those are our little feet and our hands. Hey, Miss Brenda, thank you for coming on. So I'm going to put some more of this green leaf on here. We're going to use it for the base coat of the frog. You can do whatever color frog you want. If you want a different color, then you can do that. You can even paint him a pink or something like that. Hey, Diane, Diana, and Miss Beth. Thank you for coming on. It's freezing. Oh, has the AC on. Well, tell him to get the heat back on. I had to turn mine up just a little bit because um, I'm I'm just freezing to death right now. I don't know. It feels it's chillier almost in here than it is outside. It's really bizarre. All right, so I've got the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides of this one too, so then I can do the top of both of them. What was that, Tanya? What was what, Miss Robin? I'm not sure what you're talking about. The low for Saturday and Sunday night is going to be 28 degrees. Oh, my. Back to winter we go. I know it. But hopefully by next week, it's supposed to be in the 70s here again. But it's going to be a little bit. It'll be later in the week next week. Do you sell them? Yes, ma'am. I do sell these. If anybody's interested... Um, you can just private message me and I'll let you know. It is about $11 to ship one of these. Um, but I will check. If anybody's interested, you can give me your zip code and I can check that. And I have all kinds. <clears throat> what you asked me. I still don't know. I'm so tired. Maybe that's the reason why I don't know. 
<laughs> All right, and I also do um, auctions. And we just do it after I've done a whole lot of things. I usually do five or six items. And then everybody just bids. We'll probably go back to the old way because I, I just feel like that people, I don't have enough followers that follow me to do an auction like I did the other day. So I feel like that it's better if people don't have as much you know, pressure or anything. And I appreciate you coming on, Christy. I always tell ahead of time when I'm going to do an auction that way and show you what's going to be in the auction. That way you can um, think of what you want to do if you want a specific something. But you can also ask me at any time and I'll be glad to um, assist you. All right. So let me get some of these little, what I call paint boogers off. But you don't have to get rid of your paint. Oh, thundering, yes. All right, so we're gonna use a little bit of this green right here. This is the brighter green. It's called the lime tree. And I'm gonna pour it out right here if I can get it open. As we know, I always clog these up. And I'm gonna put some on here and the thing that I did with the other one I kind of took the feet and I just kind of brushed a little bit of the paint on top of it just to give it a little bit of dimension but I didn't make it totally see how this has got two different shades on it it's just to give it a little bit different look so I ended up just putting a little bit of paint on there and we'll do it like that and you can make some a little brighter. It's okay. I don't know if I've got the wrong side, don't I? I don't guess it really matters. <clears throat> so let me see here. All right. So see, this one's a little bit different. It's got a little bit more of the green. It's the brighter color. And then we're just doing it like that, like this. And so then I'm gonna take the bright color and we're just gonna do it in here a little bit. I just kinda worked with it a little bit to make it have a little bit of dimension and then we're gonna get the darker color and go on the edges with it. So I kinda took this and just kinda went around just like this looks like an apple <laughs> you made it, Miss Elaine. It's okay. You know, you can always watch replay if you can't come on. We can't watch all of our our people, our favorites at one time because sometimes we all, we come on at the same time. And I understand that. So it's, it's perfectly fine. I appreciate you watching the replay. If anybody is on here doing the replay, then please just hashtag replay. Or if you're new... Um, let me know because I appreciate anybody who comes on here. All right, so I made this a little bit green, but we're going to take this dark green. I've got Kelly green or we've got Arbor green, and they're a darker color. And so let me open this one. I think I want to do Arbor green because it's pretty green. Let me put this back in the water, even though I think I'm going to throw it away. Thank you for whoever gave me the other stars. I appreciate it. I didn't get to see it. I guess I was painting then. Ah, come on. <clears throat> I'm the one who needs like a million, a million scissors. I was going to say pieces of scissors, but I meant just scissors, period. All right, so we're going to take this, and I'm just going to put it on top of this. But see how much darker it is? So I've got like three different colors. And so I'm going to take this and just keep the paint on here that you already have. And then we're going to... Oh, you received the package? Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right. So we are going to go around the edge just like this. I'm just taking it like I always do and just take part of it on the edge of this. You're going to keep the paint that's already on here. You do not have to get it off. 
I'm going to put a little bit of water. It's okay, Miss Sarah. I am perfectly happy no matter when you come, even if you have to watch the replay. I was just telling them. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you that you want to be here with me. All right, so we're just going to, I'm going to take a big bunch of this and we're just going to go on the edge here. And then I'm going to take some and just do it in the middle. So we're just kind of making him look three-dimensional a little bit. Just like this, okay? And when you get his head on there and everything, it'll look a lot better. It kind of looks like a green apple right now, but um, that's just kind of how I cut it out. How I thought it would be a frog. So we're going to take some more and we're going to do the, the edges of our frog here on the face. Thank you for those little frogs. I mean, <laughs> it's so cute. All right. So we're going to take this. You want to make the eyes really defined. So you want it to be really dark right on the edge of the eyes. See how I've done? See how it's darker? That way it looks like the eyes are kind of popping out. <laughs> you like the frogs? They're really cute, I think. Thank you, Vicki. For the stars. I appreciate that. Okay, so now they even look more defined, like little eyes. And then we're gonna just take this and I'm gonna kind of go around like this. And you kind of want to make it where it looks like this portion of the face, and then the eyes are gonna be over here to the left and to the right. <laughs> the green apple, you were gonna say it. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. All right. So we're just going to keep going until we get the desired look that we want, okay? You can do it however you want to. There is no rhyme or reason. You can do this with cardboard if you're not able to cut it out. Or you can buy one from me. Let me do a little more right here because I want this to be real green right there. We also want a little bit of green in the middle, but I want the lighter color. All right, let's see how I did this. Let's see. And then we're going to do it kind of like this so he kind of has a little nose area. So this is the way I've, I've kind of put it on there, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of the lighter color up here at the top. But not on the eye part, just in the center here. And part of this is going to be covered up right up here. Because I did cut it extra right here so I could put the flowers on his head. <laughs> Fruit after the farm animals. Okay. Fruit, huh? Y'all like fruit? I used to have some fruit in my kitchen, and it was, um, it was apples, but they were red. <laughs> All right, so let me get a little bit more green. We're going to put the, do a little bit on the edges right here. And these are already dry. But I just want it to be a little bit darker right on the edge. And you don't have to do it all the way around. I'm just going to do it a little bit. We're just going to do a little bit on each. So see, this has got different texture right there. It looks kind of different. That one almost looks iridescent a little bit. And shiny. But it's really just that color green. And I'm just kind of doing this on the edge a little bit, just so it'll show up. All right. And we're going to put a little bit right there. And so this is what he looks like. Just like that. So there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm going to put a little bit more green on this. It doesn't have as much of the lighter color green. So I'm going to take the green on the outside here. And then we're just going to kind of mix it all together. 
and we're going to do this here on this side. There's really no specific way. You can do it however you want to. Then I want a little bit of dark right there on the edge. So see, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. A little bit of, of dark on the inside. Hey, thank you, Miss Raylan. I appreciate that. Y'all are so sweet. Appreciate all the stars. And any hearts you give, love those too. So if you're not able to give anything, you do not have to. Do not feel like you are obligated. Because you are not. But I do appreciate it. Anybody that does anything for me. All right. So we're just going to do it like that. So those are the feet. And those are pretty much dry already. Okay. So we are going to do the eyes. But we're going to dry this first because we don't want it to smear. So we're going to make sure that the eye part is real dry. Especially. Boy, this really dries quick, but just don't put your hand up here because it sure will hurt. How about a donkey? The horse kind of looks like a donkey a little bit. It could be either one, the horse or the donkey. I could probably make it a little bit more into it. I thought about an elephant. All right, so now it's pretty dry, except for maybe right in here a little bit. So we're going to do the eyes. So remember, we need a very uh, pointy tip and fairly new brush, okay? Because um, we're going to be doing the eyes, and that definitely. Hey, Miss Pat, thank you so much for the stars. Appreciate that. All right, so we're going to get a little black, and we're going to get a little white. We always use black and white here a ton, so always keep that on hand. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll it on the end just like I always do and make it real pointy, okay? I'm going to move my thing here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, feels sticky right there. Hold on. Is dry it just a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me dry it because I'm putting my hand on there and it feels sticky. He almost looks like Eeyore. He kind of does look like Eeyore a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So we're going to take this and we're just going to go right here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So right now you're going to have just the black right there. That's going to be the bottom of the eyes, okay? <laughs> You love the blue-eyed horse, but they are also cute. Thank you. All right, so then we're going to take this, and we're going to make just a big kind of horseshoe looking. We want his eye really big. So here's the one eye. That's the first thing we need to do. Hey, Miss Mary, thank you for coming on. Trust me, I have a lot of black and white. I know you do, Miss Elaine. Miss Elaine's got a whole lot of black and white. She does those checks really good. And y'all know me, I'm not very good at the checks. So here are his eyes right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, finish the rest of it. We're gonna make it a little thicker. And we're gonna make this kind of circle-y or oval, really. I'm gonna do it like this. That way this looks kind of like part of the eye right there. We're gonna end up putting um, some white in there. We'll see about making a donkey. I'll see if I can sort of make the horse a, a donkey too. I don't know. I, I didn't make two of those because I didn't know if anybody would be interested in that. All right, so we're gonna take this on this side. And you want it to kind of be an oval or round. So 
So here it is so far without the white. It kind of looks funny right now. <laughs> He's starting to come to life a little bit. And you know, I think I want to um, make blue eyes on this. I wonder how dark blue eyes would look on this green. You know, I have the brown on there. All right, so we're going to take this and we're just going to make our black dot in our eye. And we'll do the same thing over here. So this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> you love Eeyore? I love Eeyore too. He would probably get on my nerves in real life though. Because he's too slow. And I don't, I'm not slow at all. So I'm going to make these a little bit bigger because I don't want too much blue for the eye. But I just want to do one blue and one brown. So we're going to do it just slightly bigger. And we'll do the other side the same way. Alright, so I did make it a little bit bigger there. So the, the colored part, you need a horse or a donkey to go with your cow and pig. I know you do, don't you? <laughs> I'm so glad you enjoyed it when you got it. All right. So here we go. Hey, Jason. Hey, Miss Candace. All right, so we're going to make blue eyes, but we're not going to do them that light color blue that we normally do. We're going to do kind of a navy, but this is called true blue, I think. Yeah, two blue, two blue from Apple Barrel. The pig is made from bunny from the Dollar Tree. Are you talking about the one behind me? Did somebody ask about that, Miss Pat? Thanks for for answering. Yeah, I've still got most of those up there. I sold the cow. Y'all know that. How are you doing, Jason? All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and color in where the color of the eye is going to go. And I might do a little bit of white in it, but we're going to do navy and just see. It may not be bright enough. We'll, we'll see. All right. It doesn't look too bad. When I get one done, then I'll show it to you up close. Remember what I told you to go on the edges first. And then paint the inside. It just does a lot easier. Of course, for time's sake, I'm doing it probably faster than y'all would. You're good. Just getting back from the gym. You're getting all buff. You and uh, Manny both are all buff. I don't know how y'all find time to go to the gym. Y'all are so busy. All right, so this is the blue. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. We're going to make it a little bit uh, brighter. You want to try one? Uh, you collect pigs, Miss Sarah? All right, so we're going to take this and just do a little bit of blue. I mean, a little bit of white on the blue. I'm going to see how this goes. Just a little bit. That way it shows up a little bit better on the green. Let me put just a tiny bit right here. All right. So this is what it looks like so far. That kind of looks different, doesn't it? So we're going to do the blue over here, and then we'll put a little bit of white in like we did before. 
I know y'all aren't going to go as fast as I do. But if it's dry, then it's pretty easy. Thank you. This is the one that's too blue. T-O-O -O blue. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to flip him over. Okay. So let me get a little bit of the white, just like I did the other one. And we're going to spread it out a little bit. We don't want it to be severe like this, this much white. We don't want it to be too light blue, but we want it to be a little bit enough so we can see it. So this is what it looks like so far. So you can see the eyes pretty good. So it's pretty good. All right. Because before the navy blue or two blue as it is, um, it's a little bit darker than royal blue, but not quite as navy. But, um, you know, it kind of looked too dark. But this gives it some dimension here, and it looks a whole lot better. All right. So let me get this drop of water off of here. All right. And we're going to take the white and we're going to do the edges and I think I'm going to do this a little bit different I'm going to try but if it looks bad we can put black over in the corner but what I want to do is put white in the corner and just see what it looks like so we'll just see what it's going to look like if it's bad then we'll do it black because we'll still have to do some more black on the edges and make it thicker so it looks like his little eyes are kind of bulging out. All right. All right, so this is one side already. So it's looking a lot better. And we're going to get a little bit darker in between because I kind of went over too far. So you want to make sure that you get right in here. I'm going to try this and we're going to see if it looks okay with the, the white. Because on the other one we have the black. All right, so what does that look like so far? I guess we need to do both of them to find out if it looks all right. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna take this, just pull it down here. And I probably will have to go in between with some black Because on the other frog, I've only got it on the outer side. And then we're going to do this one. Just remember what I told you, use the pointy piece, pointy brush. All right, so there's that so far. Hey, Miss Sylvia, thank you for coming on. And then we're gonna take a big bunch of paint on the end here, and then we're just gonna do it this way. We're gonna take this and just make a dot and a dot here. And if you don't get enough, you can just put a little more. It just does its own self. And then a little dot right here and right here. 
So now he's coming to life a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Paula. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to take the black and we're going to go a little bit thicker on the black portion of the eye. So I'm going to make sure that I put just a mediocre amount of black on here. And we're going to take this and we're going to go a little bit thicker on the top. And over to the right. Try to do it all in one stroke, okay? But if you don't, then you can do it a second one. But see how it looks more defined there than it does on this side over here? And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. I didn't have enough paint on my brush. So here's that. And see it looks a lot better. Let me see which one. Okay. So let me fix this. So we want it to be even right there. And then I'm gonna do this one in just slightly. So it looks a little more. Now we're going to give it lashes and put a little bit in between here, the blue and the white. Okay, so we want it a little bit black right in there. So I'm going to take it and just smooth it out so it'll be even. And the same thing on this side. So anytime that you mess up a little bit on the white, you can fix it with the black. So see how his eyes look like they're kind of in his face a little bit? He's so cute, isn't he? And I haven't even made his little nose yet. I think he's adorable. All right, and we're going to do the lashes, though. Even if it's a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter. Of course, I'm going to put some bows in his hair and stuff, so it's really going to be a girl. I like to do a girl. I don't know. So I'm going to take this. We're going to even this out right here because I've gone over a little bit where the white is. And we're just going to kind of go a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, okay? And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Hey, Sharon, thank you for coming on. Are you new? All right, so I've done two at the bottom and two, I say bottom, but inside and two on the outside. You can't hardly see this one. It's right on the edge and then on the other side. And then we're going to put some on top. You love his froggy eyes? <laughs> Me too. All right, so we're just going to take this and we're going to just flick the eyelashes we're going to do several of them, like six maybe. Let's see. Or seven. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like seven. Two, four, six. Yeah, seven. So that's one side. No matter how many times I've watched me paint, it's the eyes that get me. <laughs> These are so cute. They've just turned out really cute. So I'm going to do this upside down since I'm right-handed. So just remember, it's a lot easier that way. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do one more back here for sure. Let me look, see, so we can have it even. I'll do one more. Right like that. I don't know. He kind of still looks like he needs another one. All right. So there's his eyelashes. Right in there. 
Uh, thank you, Miss Vicki. Y'all are so sweet. I appreciate it. All right. So we are going to do his mouth and his nose. And the thing is, I'm using the dark color for the nose. You can do it black if you want to. We're just going to take the paintbrush and let it do its own thing. We're just going to kind of do right in here. Just kind of make it thick and then go thin. Kind of thick and then thin. So there's his little nose. <laughs> it's mesmerizing. Y'all are so funny. This is fun for me. I, I love to paint. I could paint all day, every day. I wish I could do that. Maybe one day. All right, so we're going to take the black just because it'll probably show up a little bit better. And we're going to just do, I don't know. I'm going to kind of do this. And we're just going to kind of do it a little bit. We're not going to go all the way up. We're going to give him kind of a smirk. All right, so let me, we're going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, okay? So he's kind of got a smirk, so he doesn't have it all the way around like I did the other one. <laughs> and then we're going to get our trusty blush out. And hey, y'all, I did find one. Look, a brand new one that hadn't been touched. And I also got a light color one. It's a pink, but it's a baby pink, baby, baby color pink. But I still like the dark. So, or bright pink. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna just do this right around in here. We're gonna do the other side. Hey, Amy, thank you for coming on. And we're just going to make it just like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit up here. I like it to have a little bit of personality. And it just does if you put a little bit. Because we're going to put some, some flowers up here on the top of the head. So it just kind of gives him a little, you know, he's just like this. So he's cute. Froggy with attitude, exactly. So we like him. They look different. This one looks more like a girl. Did find any? You did or you didn't, Miss Pat? It's hard to find that bright pink. I found one and they mostly had this other brownish color, kind of orangey color instead. You can get eyeshadow too and use that because really the eyeshadow let me show you this one's got browns in it but because it has this brush in here if you don't want to use your fingers if i can open it i'm just afraid it's gonna flip what's the deal <laughs> well mm, let me see if i can open this one it, i did find pink ones did not, she said. Okay. What is the deal? It's got got a sticker on there. Hey, Diane. I thought I was just weak. Yeah, I hope everybody's able to find the, um, the eyeshadow at least. Because you can use this. It's got a bunch of different colors in it. But this particular brush is really good to put the blush on for it. And you can do it a lot easier than even a finger. But I just used my finger since I didn't think about doing this until later. Good. Definitely use this because you can use it. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to use the bright pink. But that has bright pink in it so you can use it. Yeah, they put tape on it and I didn't realize it. It's hard to see. 
Yeah, they sure do. I guess because they don't want anybody to open it. But it was in a package, so I don't know why they opened it. I mean, uh, sealed it with this. Yeah, y'all tell me now. Y'all made me look funny. <laughs> with this. Let's see. I think I... Yeah, it's open. There's a little divot there where it looks like the, the uh, tape was, so I couldn't see it. All right. So let me dry his nose so I don't accidentally put my hand in that. You never thought about the pink eyeshadow? Hey, Christy. Yeah, definitely use the eyeshadow if you can't find the blush. Because it'll work just as fine. Yes, I found the, um, the eyeshadow at the Dollar Tree. And it has the brown colors and it also has the pink. And they probably had some other ones too. First, I got the browns, and then I got the pink because I found it. So, I ended up getting that too, Vicky. But definitely, you can't have enough of that. And for $1.25, you can't really beat it, I guess. Okay. So, we're going to put it together, okay? And we've got to get our trusty super glue gel out that uh, Miss Lee said from the Turquoise Valentine. I always tell y'all that. <clears throat> and we're going to get it because we're going to put this together and we don't want it to come apart. But first, we're going to see how we want it. Do we want it to go to this side? What do y'all think? Do it this way or the way I had it, which is this way or straight. You can do straight. Either one. I don't know. I kind of like it going this way. I don't know if it's because I do this. I don't know. You could do either one, but I don't want it to go too far. And then we're going to have our feet. And you want to make sure that you have it all the way to the bottom, but that you don't go past the bottom line here. Because it will make it lean over and not sit the right way. The first way. So you want it this way a little. Alright. We're going to do that. Alright. And then we've got our hands just like this. So we've got to push it up some because we have to have them all on here together. And I just have to make sure where I'm going to put the feet first. And I have them kind of sitting off to the side. You can move them all the way over if you want to. And then have the hands kind of down a little bit. Just make sure you don't put those off of it kind of like this. So you like it this way. Just like this is the way we're going to do it, Miss Diana. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is lift this up a little bit and I'm going to put this up underneath here. That way I know basically where I'm going to put this and then we're going to take some glue that we've got ready. And I'm going to stick this back on here, just slightly tilted. We're going to hold it just for a minute. <laughs> and then we're going to do the feet. And we're going to get some of this and put it on here. And then we're going to take a little bit of this and just go right there. These don't take a whole lot. And then you want to put your finger at the bottom and make sure that it doesn't go off the edge. And then you hold it for a second. And most of this is off. All right, and then you put your, your hand down here. All right, so both of these are good. So see first... And we don't have the hands secure, so we're going to do that. And <laughs> now you'll have to go by the, the uh, eyeshadow. Definitely. You can get it at Walmart if you don't want to get it at Dollar Tree. I don't know how much... I don't wear mascara. I mean, not mascara, but I, I make up very much at all. Hey, Scylla. How are you doing, girl? All right. So we're just going to... Put a little bit of the glue right there. 
and I stuck a little line of the the other the glue gel on there and I just want it right there and then we're gonna do the same thing for this I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it right there because that's enough you only have to have a little bit of little bit of it on there and I'm just kind of going right in here just a little dab and then we're gonna go right there I guess I think the frog is almost my favorite, y'all, besides the lamb. The lamb is really adorable. <laughs> I'm doing well, Scylla. All right, so we're going to get some flowers, too. But first, I wanted to get everything together. So this is the little froggy. she got a little cut. She's gotten a, a riff with the other one. <laughs> so that's just the, the piece of wood that I used. So, we're going to use some flowers. Now, I did use tiny flowers for this one, like this. But you don't have to. The lamb is your favorite. Yeah, I really like it, too. I think it's, it's cute. So, we could do sunflowers. What do y'all think? I think they're cute. Let's see. We're going to get rid of this little stem right here. But we could do a couple of these or a small one and a, and a big one. Let's see. Or we could do roses. I got a box full. <laughs> She's adorable. All right. So we, we're going to do a small one and a big one, I think. So I'm going to cut this off. And these are little wired ones. And I think I got them at... Um, Dollar Tree. I don't know what season I got them. But we're going to leave a little bit of this on the end right here. Hey, Rita, thank you for coming on. And we're just going to glue that down. And just leave it on there. So we're going to kind of take it and go to the side here. I just want it to be a little different than the other one. You like the sunflowers? I do too. Part of these are trying to flip up. See how they're flipping up right there? So we just got to make sure we do them flat. And just put a little dab of glue on there. And we're going to take this and we're going to kind of put this one on top of this one. Kind of look dirty. Alright, so she's got two little flowers. I may do two little ones. I think that's what I'm going to do. Looks like it needs one more. This one's kind of off-centered a little bit, but that's alright. We're okay with that. So I'm just going to take it and we're going to do it like this. It sure is off. That's going to bother me. Okay, I'm going to put it back where it belongs. Let's see. Yeah, it looks a little better with two of them. And then the bigger one. Like that. <laughs> She's a cutie patootie. Wonder if she would look cute. Let me see. I'm going to try to take this one off. And see if she can hold one. Let's see. I may have gotten it too glued down. I was going to see if I could do it. You know what we could do? Let's see. If I take it and I cut this, we're going to take this and pretend like it's going outward from there. Since I can't get it up underneath there. Let me hold it for a second. Sweet frog, Miss Dinah says. I think it's so cute. All right, and then we're going to take this other piece and we're going to go out towards the side on this side. And this way it looks like she's holding a flower as well. 
But see, this one stands on its own. You don't have to put anything on the back of it. So you've got enough holding everything. Ooh, I've missed a spot. There we go. See, that way it looks like she's holding one. How cute, huh? You could even paint her toenails. Ooh, paint her toenails. Okay. Yeah, let me do that. She's a flower child. I didn't think about doing toenails. Do we want to do um, pink toenails? Let me see. This one's a glitter glitter pink let's see if we can do that hey victoria thank you for coming on you like her she's so cute they said to paint her toenails so we're gonna try to paint her toenails <laughs> how cute let me get this off of here and this will be glitter so it'll be cute okay let's see let me shake it i better shake it let me, I can't tell that it's got glitter in it, but I guess it doesn't matter. This is a bright bubblegum pink. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Maybe it needs to be bigger. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, how cute. Whose idea was this? And it does have glitter in it. All right, let me get this and I'll show you one foot. And it does have glitter. Oh, how cute, look. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, this is, you wanna do the fingers too? We're just gonna kinda do a little rounded edge with a straight bottom to look like regular toenails. My goodness, how cute is this? Alright, let's make sure we get enough so we can see it. I hope it doesn't dry lighter color. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Alright, let's see. I don't want to make them too big. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. I've never used this before. The paint with the glitter in it. So I don't know if it like dries clear. Surely not, right? Have y'all used it? Oh my goodness, how cute is that, y'all? My gosh, hey, Miss Norma. Look at the little toenails and stuff. How cute. How cute. Oh my goodness. We could put her a bracelet and everything on there. Let me get some pearls. I'm gonna get the littler pearls and we'll see. I got some pink pearls. Hold on a sec. Alright, let's see here. These are pink, but they're hard to see that it's pink. It's a real light pink in a necklace. You're right. Hold on. We're gonna... Let me do it right about there and let me see. <laughs> this is so funny. You view it stays the same color? Well, that's good because I wasn't sure. Alright, we're gonna put a little dab of glue right there and a little dab right here. And we're just going to take this and we're going to do it like this. And hold it for just a second. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. 
we want it to be a little bit down but we can kind of just do it like that oh how cute okay let me put this in between let me see if i can get that in there doesn't want to go in between the hand that's okay we'll put it on top oh my this is funny all right, we're going to put a little bit of glue right here because we're going to paint the back of it. I'm just not doing it right now. I'm wanting to make it just a little bit down from her neck. I'm going to take part of this off. We might make her another bracelet since I got extra. And waited so long the glue's wanting to dry right there. <laughs> See y'all think hey Carolyn, thank you for coming on. So do y'all think we need the bracelet? I think we need a bracelet on this side too. And it'll also cover up where I put the dot of glue right here for the flower. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. My goodness, look at that. How cute. Like Ranger stickers, it's dimensional paint with precision tips. I'll have to look at that. Where do you get Ranger stickies? Or stickles? Not sure what that means. Oh my goodness, this is way, way cute, y'all. She's got her, she needs a bow. But maybe the flowers is enough. We don't really need a bow. What do y'all think? A little yellow bow up above? I don't have any yellow. I've got pink and white, but I don't have yellow and white. I thought I did. Let's see. Let Yeah, I don't see any yellow and white. You love her? Yeah, I don't know if the the uh, pink... Let me just make a little bow real quick. We don't have to stick it on. You love her? I think she's adorable. With all her little extras. Alright, let me see. Let me get my good scissors. I can't find my scissors again. I had to buy another one of these. I'm terrible. All right, let me cut this off just a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, she does get cuter, doesn't she? See if I put it right there. I don't know if it needs it or not. Let me do it straight up so y'all can see. We don't have to do it. If we just do it right above this, let me get it closer to you. Woo! What do y'all think? Yay or nay? Amazon Hobby Lobby, I'll send you a link. Yes, please. So do you think she needs a bow or no? So I haven't glued it down yet. And I don't have anybody saying anything yet. Thank you for all the hearts. Thank you so much. Yes, Miss Dreama says. Okay. We'll put it there because it kind of, it'll be all right. If somebody didn't want that, then they could take it off. Miss Paula said no bow. And then Miss Martha said she liked it. Let me just see. Christy says yes. Looks like I got more yeses than noes. I don't think it has to have one. I don't know. I think she looks cute. Either way, but you could take the bow off. You wouldn't have to keep it on there. 
You like the bow, but I'm extra anyway. <laughs> I never really. I love it too. I like it without it and with it too. It doesn't matter. See, it does kind of, um, the, um, this kind of makes it darker or whatever. See how it's kind of lightening up a little bit, but it does have sparkly fingers. You just can't hardly see it live. I'll try to take different pictures of it so y'all can see. <laughs> she does have personality. She sure does. She got a little smirk on her face. So it turned out really cute, I think. And we will paint the bee on Friday. But tomorrow, um, we're going to make an egg. And um, I want to try this egg with some glue from the hot glue gun on it. And then paint it with, uh, with the paint. The, um, what do you call that? Um, paint. Chalk paint. That's the word. Chalk paint. <laughs> you like her both ways? I think she's cute. Now look at the other one. We got the boy, even though she's he's got pink flowers. I guess it could be either way. So they do look different. Thank you for all those hearts. I appreciate it. You love it too, Miss Martha? Let me get them together so y'all can see them up close. They have both different personality. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, be safe, Miss Martha, if you're having storms. Especially if tornadoes are your way. Thank you for all those hearts. So these are really cute. And if I don't sell these, then they'll go in the auction. Hey, Miss Sarah, thank you for coming on. You love both of them? I do too. I don't know which one I like better. I like both of them. They just have cute little personalities. Thank you for those little frogs and hearts, Miss Elaine. So I like both of them. Either way. And did y'all see these at the Dollar Tree? I thought we could do something with that saying, love you to the moon and back. So I got a yellow moon for that to try to do something. I just don't know what I want to do yet. One of the, this side's better than this one. This little lashes looks like it wants to come off. Twins. Yeah, they are twins. Just one with blue eyes and one brown. So if y'all want to get one of these, we'll be making something with this, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and then we'll do the B on Friday. I'll post that again. I know y'all have seen it already. So tomorrow night we're going to do that egg, okay? You'll need one of the big eggs from Dollar Tree. You've not seen the moon. I only just saw it. Um, I went in there to, to look around and got that. So I just saw that. It was where the um, vases and all that is. It was in that section. It gave you a fog instead of a frog. Moon would be great. Tassel top. Yeah, it would be cute. It's glass, though. So it's not wood. We could make one of these out of wood. And you're right. You could put beads on it and then put it like on a tray or something like that. This can go on a tray. But it is um, flat on the bottom. And it is glass. So I thought I would do some kind of something with it. But we'll see. Hey, Miss Donna. Thank you for coming on. We just made our little little froggy here. We gave her some bling. Is the egg the wooden egg? No, um, the plastic egg is the one I'm going to do. Here, I've got, a, got one of them. You can either use this one. I've got two different ones. You can get this one. This is at the Dollar Tree, the big one. Or the one at Walmart is the one that's up and down like this. I don't know which one I'm going to use. So this one came from the Dollar Tree. And then the other ones um, that are pretty big. 
I don't know if I... I was seeing if I brought one in here. I don't know what I did with it. But it's probably still in the kitchen. But it came from Walmart. The, the one that sits up like this instead of being flat down. This one has a flat bottom for it to be this way. This looks like a little car to me. But I'm not going to make it a cute little car. <laughs> it looks like the body of a car. And then put a chick in it or something, y'all. Or put this little dude. Look. <laughs> and then put some wheels on here. We need to do that. <laughs> so maybe we can make... I'll probably make this one into the car now that I said that. And then we'll do the up and down one for tomorrow's project. So get you one from Walmart. They're, they're the really big eggs. They're bigger than this one. But they're more, they're up and down instead of sideways. Thank you, Miss Donna. I appreciate it. So, yeah, we'll make this one into a car. Yeah, hot rod bunny. We don't have to, this one smells like chocolate. Did y'all know, <laughs> did y'all know that? It says chocolate scented. I'm like, where's that smell coming from? But it's, um, it's chocolate. So, I mean, we could use him. He's cute in there. I don't know. We need to, like, make one. A stuffed one. So, we'll do that this weekend. Maybe we can do it Saturday. So, I'm going to I'm gonna come on tomorrow night, and I'm going to come on Friday night, and I will try to come on Saturday, and we'll make this little booger. So, tomorrow we'll do the up, up and down egg from uh, Walmart, and we're going to make the... Oh, this is cute. Look, it could be the back. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lord. Okay. Yeah, they smell good. It it does it kind of smells good. It kind of smells like dirty feet to me, but it does kind of smell like chocolate. I don't know. Dirty chocolate smell. I don't know. <laughs> but look at that. That's like the inside of a Jetson little thing. Oh, we got to do this one for sure. We're going to do this one. You'll be here. Good. Bring your friends, Miss Donna. Everybody bring your friends and we'll do this. And we'll get some wooden um, little circles here and we'll make the little let, you know, the uh, wheels. This is going to be too cute. Gosh, the things we think of as we're sitting here. So tomorrow is just going to kind of be a decorat decorative little egg, but or big egg, we should say. I do have some wooden eggs as well. We could probably try to do that, so I might do both of them, but we'll just see. And um, so everybody come on. I'm going to try to come on a little earlier than 6 tomorrow. I was trying to look for my pink. What did I do with that pink? Um... That way, um, when I get home, I can go ahead and come on a baby carriage. Oh, a baby carriage. Yeah. Huh. We'll do a car first, and then we might do a baby carriage. That's cute, too. And put a baby, baby animal in there. This kind of looks like a baby animal, but not really. So we're going to, we'll have all these things coming up and I'll make some more of, of these kind of things um, because I think they're so cute. We'll come up with some other ones. The horse can kind of be um, a donkey as well. It's behind the frog. I know, I just saw it when I moved it. I'm like, where is that pink? Thank you, Vicky. <clears throat> yep, I wanted to put it back in there. You got to save your pain as much as you can. As much as we use it. I don't like to waste anything. So if y'all, if you see anything that you want to try to do, then let me know. Um, I'll be glad to try to do something. I don't mind doing that. If y'all see something you really like. Miss Elaine is really good about telling me things. Um you know, or how to find stuff, all this kind of stuff. So y'all feel free to ask me. I don't, I don't take it any way except for helpful. 
I'm always glad for any help that anybody gives me or any suggestions. I'm all for that. And we're all one big happy family here and I try to do things that y'all want to do and stuff. So definitely tell me if you want to do something specific. Let me see here. It's the Arbor Green. Thank you for all those hearts. I love that. I love y'all just being here. I appreciate y'all and everybody who gave me stars too. So um, I'm going to go for tonight and I will be on tomorrow night. We will make that egg. All you need is the egg, some um, paint, and also your hot glue gun because we're going to use that as our design. Okay. So we're just going to wing it and make some sort of design on there. So hopefully it'll turn out real pretty. And then you can just sit it on your fireplace or on a shelf or whatever you would like. Um, but we'll do that tomorrow night. And I will see y'all. Um, and I'll post right before I come on, like 15 or 20 minutes before. Um, because I should get off at 4, 4.30 or so. And I may go get my hair cut. So after that, then I'll come on once I get home. But I'll let y'all know so y'all can have a an idea of when I'm going to come on. And thank you too. Y'all have a good evening and I will see y'all tomorrow and we'll make our little egg. Bye-bye.